So guys, for the first step, you want to get into this screen. I will show you two ways on how to get here. So for the first way, this is if you can sign into Windows. I'm on Windows right now, I can sign into it. So if you can sign into Windows, you want to head over to search and type in reset this PC. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on restart now. And I click on restart now again. It will then take you into that screen. If you cannot sign into Windows, then you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times. So you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, quickly turn it off and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then it will take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly. You want to click on advanced options. And now once we're here, we're going to be trying out a few things. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options and then click on system restore. If you do not see system restore, click on system recovery options, then it should appear right here. So you want to click on system restore. And then once we're here, if you do have a restore point already created, you want to click on next and then go back to your restore point. That will hopefully fix your problem. If you do not have a restore point, that's fine. We're going to click on cancel. And now for the second method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. It's now going to diagnose your PC, see if this works for you. If that did not work, we're going to click on advanced options, troubleshoot, advanced options again, and then command prompt. And now once we're here, if you see any errors on my screen, just ignore it. Just type in every single command I'm going to tell you. If you see any errors on my screen, just ignore it. In your case, it should be working. So for the first command, you want to type in C colon, click on enter. It could also be the drive that you have Windows installed on. It's most likely going to be C colon for you. If it's a different letter, then just type in that. But for most of you guys, it's going to be C colon. And now we're going to type in CD space backslash Windows backslash system32 backslash config and click on enter. Now we're going to type in MD space backup one. Click on enter again. Now we're going to type in copy space star dot star space backup. Click on enter. And now you're going to type in CD space reg back. Click on enter. And now we're going to type in copy space star dot star space dot dot. Click on enter. Now we're going to type in A. Click on enter. And now you're going to type in exit. Click on enter. And then once you've done that, you can now go back to Windows. You can continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed. If the problem is still not fixed, then as a last resort, you want to click on troubleshoot and then reset this PC. If you have your files backed up, you can then go remove everything. If you don't, then you can go keep my files. It's up to you though what you want to go with. So now you just want to reset your PC and then that should fix your problem.